guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I own a small embroidery business called Sun Milk. I figured I would take you along in another day with me working in my small business warehouse, studio space, whatever you want to call it. I'm also going to add in a small little Q&A type section to this video. And if you have any other questions that I don't answer in this video, please leave them in the comments because I would love to do a part two completely dedicated to the Q&A. So I got my hat hoop on because I was testing out baseball caps and I need to switch that back so I can embroider some sweatshirts. I think I'm gonna try to go on TikTok Live to pack the handful of orders that I have open. I've got my iced coffee here to keep me going. I'm that person who will have an iced drink even when it's like completely freezing outside. Let's get into it. First things I like to do when it comes to packing orders, especially if I'm going to be going on live, I pull and fold and have everything kind of expedited and ready to go. I find that should the live be quite busy, it's very confusing to be trying to pull the correct item and get everything ready, so there's fewer mistakes when I do it this way. I just finished testing out my third version of this design. Still not totally happy with it, but it is getting better. I think it's so pretty. I just wanna move these flowers up. They kinda of like come out of the oval ever so slightly, but I think they're so pretty. I know in the beginning I mentioned that I wanted to do kind of a mini Q&A with some of my more frequently asked questions that I've gotten in Instagram DMs and on TikTok Lives and all that. So the main one that I get is how did you start your small business? Let's rewind back to 2020, 2021. I found myself having a lot more time on my hands as I know so many of us did. I was also living in a city where I didn't feel very connected. We hadn't been living there very long. I didn't have a strong social circle. So that combined with everyone kind of isolating was really just, yeah, had a lot of free time. I've always been interested in creativity and entrepreneurship. So during that time, I thought it would be fun to just kind of get reconnected with that side of myself that I had neglected for some years. So basically, I dove back into my hobbies. I started out not even really fully intending to have a small business. I just wanted to make things and share them. I started out just illustrating and painting things with watercolors from craft supplies that I'd had sitting in my basement for forever. And then I had the idea for Christmas, I was gonna ask for a printer and essentially try to make some stationary items. Mind you, I didn't even have an iPad. I was just painting things on paper and then scanning them in or taking a photo of them with my phone, uploading them into Photoshop or Canva or whatever, and then printing them. I had just downloaded TikTok on a whim when my partner was sick and I had some time because he was just asleep and I was so bored. And I was like, I should really do this. So I started uploading some videos to TikTok. And at that time, I feel like the algorithm was just pushing small businesses and at-home crafters. And my videos started to get more and more traction. And it just started to encourage me to keep posting content and keep making things. At some point, I decided to open up an Etsy shop. I started very small, not even in the area that I hoped to get to at some point. And as I started selling things on Etsy very slowly, that money that I made, I just started to reinvest back into my business. At this point, I also still had a full-time job, so I did have a second income. This was just pennies on the side. Eventually, I saved up to buy an iPad. I started dabbling in at-home screen printing because I bought myself a Cricut with what I had made. And it just kept growing and growing and growing to a point where I had saved up enough money to buy my first embroidery machine. My first embroidery machine was very basic, but at the time it felt like this huge investment to spend $900 on a machine having no idea if it was if I was gonna be able to sell anything that I made on it. And I kept telling myself, even if it takes 
months and months and months to make this money back. It's something that I'm so passionate about. I should just take that risk. So I did that and literally one of my very first videos that I made showing my embroidery machine and this embroidered apparel design, uh, it went viral or what I considered viral for me at the time and I started to get orders. It really just changed the trajectory of my business. I went from making very little money, very small margins on stickers and cards and stationery to suddenly making more significant money on apparel just because there's a bigger margin. So that started growing and growing and growing and as I was releasing designs, they were just getting bigger and bigger. And there was this one point where I remember it so vividly, I was printing off shipping labels and I was taking a video of it. I was crouched behind my camera watching my label printer print and I had done this type of video before where it maybe print off like three labels or something like that and I was sitting there watching it print and it just kept printing and printing and printing and I remember just sitting there being like, oh my god, this is really happening. And shortly after that I started looking at the numbers and was realizing that I was making just as much money on my small business as I was at my full-time job. It started to just cross my mind like what if I could make this my full-time thing. Very shortly after all this happened, we had been exploring the idea of moving out of Minneapolis. And as that idea kind of came into fruition, I thought to myself, I'm gonna need a new job anyway. What if I just take this opportunity of transition to give it a go and see if I can make it work? And if it doesn't, I'll find something else. That's fine, at least I know that I tried. We moved to Milwaukee and at that point, I quit my nine to five and decided I was going to pursue my small business full-time. We even got an apartment that had a spare bedroom so I would have an office in Minneapolis. I was working just out of a corner of our living room. It was so nerve-wracking not knowing if I was going to make enough money and if I would fail and as someone who's a perfectionist and struggles with failure that felt like such a huge risk to me but I did it. There were definitely highs and lows. I tried so many different things, different designs, different styles of content, everything under the sun it felt like before I found a formula that started to work. A roadblock that I kept coming back to is so many of my designs were seasonal. If you do anything creatively, you know that creative fatigue and burnout and just creative block is such a real thing. And having to start over all the time was just wearing on me. I hated not knowing where my next design was gonna come from. Was I gonna have another idea? So in January of 2022, or no, in January of 2023, I started thinking about what types of collections I could come out with that would just be an obvious progression. And following my love for nature and flowers, I had this idea to do an entire collection for the states based on state flowers. And I remember having the idea so clearly, it was just this light bulb moment where I was like, this is gonna be it. I did a ton of research on the flowers, I started drawing things, coming up with concepts, and eventually stitched out my first one. As soon as I started sharing these videos, they went viral. And I kept adding the flowers, and it just, this idea totally transformed my business. At that point, it just kept growing and growing and growing until I had a day where a video went so viral, it got almost three million views, and I sold out of every single state flower sweatshirt that I had that I had expected to take like the entire year to sell. My office at home was bursting at the seams. We started exploring warehouse opportunities and this place that I'm in now just happened to become available right when I was in the most dire need of it. We literally found it just a couple weeks before I had that video go super viral. Unfortunately, it ended up working out that I had to move in during my busiest time of the entire year, but it all worked out and now I am so grateful to have this space because I could not be doing what I'm doing out of my apartment. Fast forward to now 2024, I'm still trying Trying to grow my business and reinvent it all the time and come out with new designs. I'm so incredibly grateful for being able to do this full time. I hope that gives a little bit of insight into my journey and how I got to this point. I think one of the main takeaways here is to remember that you can start small. Just because you're starting in stationery or stickers with little investment doesn't mean that you can't grow it into something much bigger. So start small, get out of your own way, and yeah, you can do it. Let's get back to work. I just decided impulsively that I'm gonna wear this sweatshirt on my live because I feel like it's a good way to start showing it off even though I'm not totally done perfecting the design yet. Every sweatshirt has something called stabilizer on the back, which essentially when you embroider, you need a second material to help the stitches not get pulled through and to preserve the design so it doesn't stretch and distort in the wash. But there it is. <laughs> there it is right now. I don't have Louisiana yet, but I'm gonna finish all the rest of the states this year, so it will definitely be coming. It's the Magnolia, right? I think that'll be so pretty. 
I want to do a bunch of other states like this. Like I have such a vision for what like other states could be. Wisconsin, like oh. So we just wrapped up TikTok Live. We have a bunch of orders ready to go to the post office. So I'm gonna end this live here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video requests for the future, please leave them in the comments. I'm still trying to figure out how to navigate YouTube and longer format content. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.